Hello everyone, this is your Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Ma Teng Tiao Only campaign. We pick things up for our episode 10 from turn 72 in the autumn season of 208. And the biggest news is obviously we have annexed Liu Bei's faction. We got a bunch of his generals and luckily for us, I think the only general with a faction grudge ended up being our spy because I think the spy mechanic kind of messed her up even though she's probably the least likely one to get one but I think she's the only one who got the grudge against us therefore the very low satisfaction. We're going to be taking care of all these generals uh, this turn. I think what we're going to do with Lu Ji is not keep her. I mean she has a great trait 15% replenishment for her own army. It's amazing but because of this, it might be difficult to make her stay with us. We either have to give her a court position to get rid of the desire for higher office. The recently demoted, removed from office would all go away. Rivalry within a faction would not. So that's 30 points off. She's married to Mi Fang. Hmm. We'll think about it. We could keep her, or I was thinking we just give her a vassal status in Xia Pi, where her father, Lu Bu, would eventually his die historically, but in this case he's still alive and has land, um, even though it's only one piece of territory it seems. I think he only owns Hu Lao Pass, which is actually quite ironic too. He's not defending it himself, but we'll look at the you know world state a bit later. Right now we have a few things we need to do. Our economy is in shambles because of all the armies we picked up, six new armies, as well as so many generals. Once we disband that, it will recover, so I'm not too worried about that. Corruption is sky high, so we gotta get rid of some of these territories, I don't want all of them. Especially since they are also a huge drain on food. Imperial city in Donghai, small regional city in Xia Pi, regional city in Langya, and small regional city in Dong. Now some of these we can take advantage of, like say don't, we can use this to get ourselves a pretty quick marketplace. And if they have an entrepreneur anywhere, we can actually check that in trade. No, none of the building had entrepreneurs, so that's a bit unfortunate. This is close, we just need the reform. All right, so maybe next spring we can make this happen. But I don't think I'm keeping Donghai, at least not the way it is. Hmm. We'll think about it. All right, first things first, generals. Um, we have multiple armies scattered across the map. Some of these already moved, so I can't get rid of them this turn. I could disband, which I think is what we will do. Mm, some of these generals we are definitely gonna be firing away. So the militia retinue might be a good thing to just keep, let them have it. But he's not bad, honest and energetic. Even Kasha is pretty good. So we could keep him. He's also low rank. Hmm, what's the best way to do this? I think we just go army by army. Um, we would need them to land on friendly territory. These are part of our alliance. So I think we just pop on right here. Uh, it was on March, but it was already moved, so I can't really do anything about it. We can still disband, even on March, so I think we'll do that, because our economy really need to recover. But before we weaken our army status, hold on. We need to make a deal. I want the temple. That way we can get plus 10 points of satisfaction. The temple is part of Peng Chung, I believe. Yep. How much? 24. We can do territory swaps. I don't really want Langya, so he can have both piece if he wants, and he can probably give us a trade agreement, and a lot of money on top of that. Or we don't have to give him both. I'm probably keeping Dong. I am probably keeping Xia Pi and Donghai. Peng Cheng, I only want the piece. Hmm. We could hold on to the lumberyard for now. And try to get something else for it.
if it's excessive. I'm not gonna get any value back. He's poor. Okay. Oh, he's not poor. He's just not okay. It's the treacherous. Everything is hit by the 4.3. Right, so this is a terrible time to get deals done. I'm gonna gift him one food. Let's leave it around 5.0. Mm, maybe money then. Okay, so that seems like a good place. And we give him this food draining commandery. He gifts us the temple. Perfect. So this will help with satisfaction, as everyone will get a plus 10 right away, and we don't have to do anything here. And if we assign a good prime minister, as we do have that opening now, we can take care of satisfaction once and for all. But we still... Is there any other deal I need to make? Because I want to disband armies. I want to see where our economy actually stands. Alright, so we can actually recall this group. Do I want to keep her? Is she married to anyone? Nope. Yeah, her skill tree is not that great. We can probably use him for income assignment if we want. But first, let's get rid of this army. It's gonna take us a few turns to get everyone organized. I wouldn't be surprised if this entire episode is organizing the base men. I mean, it's a chore, but it's an exciting chore now that we got our hand on all three brothers, Zhuge Liang as well, and Wei Yan and Lady Mi. It's a shame that Zhao Yun got away, but maybe we can get him back later. We're gonna recall him. Recall everyone for now. We'll go down here. Can we switch stands? We cannot. Then we'll get rid of the retinue. We'll recall them next turn. Because I don't think we can recall them. Oh, we can still recall them. and, and We just can't recruit. I'm gonna get rid of her item because I'm not sure if I'm keeping her. Humble is good. She can be a good assignment character because of the humble trait as well. Alright, we can get some replacements in for our complaining generals doing all those assignment work for us. I don't think we need him. Oh, they're, they're a couple. I mean, that doesn't mean much for me. He has the grudge. Okay, we're saying goodbye to him. Ah, Yang Ren, now I remember. He took over Liu Zhang's faction, right? Or Liu Yan's faction, you know, but... Yeah, and then we, we destroyed him, so that's where he got the grudge. Maybe we just keep the wife? Hmm, anyhow. So Yang Ren's gonna be gone. Don't know if you want to keep the wife or not. But let's recall them regardless. Guan Yu, where are you? You guys are also marching? Mi Feng, I'm gonna take away all your stuff. And 
And let's see. Oh, husband and wife army as well. I don't think we're keeping him. Oh, but he got fire arrow. Hmm. Honestly, the skill tree is quite good. Alright, maybe I changed my mind. Maybe we keep them together? Well, I kind of want her as a vassal, to be honest. I don't want 51% corruption right now, so we gotta give away some land. The problem is she has the grudge against us, therefore... He's probably gonna hate us as a vassal as well. So that might not be a good option either. I might throw Mi Fang uh, out there into Donghai. I mean, his clan is the wealthy member over there in Xuzhou, so that would make sense. I might make her our prime minister just for the satisfaction boost. We would get 17 points from her. And two public order plus redeployment cost discount plus action support plus extra assignment plus starting one rank. It will be pretty nice. Um, Liu Bei will be the other choice, which we will also take a look at. We would get cheaper militias, which we will never recruit. We would get action support instantly in all captured settlements, that might help. Plus 3 rank for militia recruit, that's not going to be very helpful. Plus 5 satisfaction, plus 2 public order, plus 10. So 15 satisfaction, plus 2 public order. Very similar to Lady Me. But he doesn't have these two skills, so Lady Me actually make a better... Okay, so Lady Me will get the job. We'll let them keep their iconic weapon. I might even create the Three Brothers army, Liu Bei, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei. And also Zhuge Liang needs to go down south as well to fight Meng Huo. Who is this? Yang Huai? Skill tree is pretty bad. I think we're going to be firing him. So I don't need to disband his army. Liu Ye, are you a son by any chance? 21 years old? I can't really check Liu Bei's family tree anymore, but I don't see any relationship, so I'm guessing no. Is Liu Bei even married? Yeah, Lady Mi. Hmm. Alright, I don't think we need him either, but strategists you never know. We could always use them for the income assignment, 75% to Silk and Spice. I think we're just going to put Lady Me as our heir. So we want high authority. Zhang Lu probably doesn't need his. Alright, so now it's 18 points, plus 2 public order, plus all these skills. Okay, doesn't get along with Ma Teng, but gets along with Ma Chao. Oh, that's rare. Almost everyone have problem with Ma Chao. Dong Ba, okay. The extra administrator... I... I think we use Mi Fang and we keep Lu Ji because we have now overcome a lot of this desire. And it's better to keep her close or else the grudge is going to be an issue. And she's strong. The 15% for the army is really good. Minus 2 morale is not bad. And she has high expertise. Although it's a kind of a shame she picked up all these administrative 
traits, because we don't need those. Anyways, we'll find a place for her. I think Mifan will go away then. I know there's a family buff, but Mifan would fit being a vassal for us, and he's not like that important. So story-wise, it would work, and also it would work for our faction. We'll keep the wife, send out the husband. I'll put him in Donghai. And I'll trade these over to him to make him happy. And I'll minimize my land holding. I don't want to hold anything here except for maybe don't... We want to hold something so we can summon troops here in the future. But minimize what else we have. So Mifan will go back to his ancestral homeland. Mifan, Miju were wealthy merchants in the Sioux province. And we'll grant him independence. What happened to our court? Oh, our court is not loading. There we go. Alright, grant independence. Uh, we used up our trade route. In hindsight, I probably don't want to trade with some of these factions anymore. Let's cancel a couple of ours so that we can sign with him. So, Zhang High Empire, I think it's done. Oh, one turn. Oh well. Yeah, that might not be a great idea. What about Zhang Yang's faction? Uh, it's still on a timer. What I can do is... I can cancel it with one of our more inland vassals. Like if I cancel it with... Sima Long, for example. He can't trade with anyone else. He's landlocked. So he has to trade with us. So I won't lose him. But there is also a timer on him. I think that's the same for Anding, but I'm not sure. I think it's safe to do this. So I want this secured. Gonna offer him... Okay. Now, I probably want to trade all these over to him as well, depending on his personality. Trusting. Willing to work with treacherous leaders. Doesn't see anyone strategic threat. Will not turn or ally against factions just because of their strength. Okay. Perfect. So the other consideration is when do we want to be king? Because we're trading away a bunch of prestige. Which I think is okay. I'm not in a rush to become king. You guys need to come back, right? What about them? Oh, we can actually keep her. Because she's two levels away from getting the central skills. Okay. And... hmm. I think we fire her. Tao Shang Feng. Okay. Oh, I can't recall in enemy territory or non-friendly territory, so we gotta get rid of these now. Well, I could just fire her. I can fire her in non-friendly territory, no one's gonna mind that. Our economy's back positive. I'm gonna 
trade these away because if you look at the corruption, it's not worth it. It went down from 51 to 46. We trade away three piece. He's going to get tap P, which should be over 15. I'm just going to take his item. And. No, no, no. Some money for me, please. That's fine. And Mifan, we're not done with you. You're gonna be a huge power here. Take the lumber yard. I'll throw it that in with the farmland. 21 points. Okay, then we'll do this. Do I want him to have the lumber yard or just give it to Kongro? Well, I trust my vassals more, so. Six points. That's fine. Okay. So now let's look at our corruption. I uh, can't tell from here. Let's go to don't. 41%, so we got rid of 5% there. All right, over here is gonna be a great place to build a marketplace. This is gonna go away. We'll pop the marketplace down. We have over a million population, so. Hmm. The problem is there's nothing adjacent to it. I don't know if this is even worth Like eventually we can pick up 15% or maybe we even might need to keep this for the 20% We could dump administrator here Wait we own this piece here? I think we're firing him, right? Let's do that first. We've got random people all over the place. So Yang Hua is leaving us. Lady Me is gonna get recalled. We can play around with this location though. Twenty-one points. Hmm. We'll keep it. We can build armies from here, launch attacks from here, and there's no more upkeep because it's rank five, so that's actually really good. What about her? Well, she's bounced back to 30, and it's going to only grow, right? 60 of those points will go away. I think recently hired will go away. 20, so it'll be net 10. I think we'll be at 40 points. It's doable. Yeah, we have to keep them for one more turn. I think army wise we taken care of everything. So we see that there's three small one county factions, actually four small one county factions, then oh we have a piece of oh we have a piece of Danyang. A copper mine piece. Wow, what a baller here, Liu Bei, leaving us this great land. Um Sure, we'll just hang on to that, make that a corruption reduction center. Okay. We're only at war with Li Jue and the Nanman factions. Looks like the Yellow Turban's ruling this area here. We can maybe set up an army to go take that, take Changsha, and then go down. 
grab the armor craftsman and the T. I don't know who owns the T, but it feels like it's an enemy force. I mean, I don't know, but we'll see. That's going to be the plan. And because we own... I wonder who owns the... Yan Bai who owns the weapon. Okay. We can go to war with him and grab the weapon craftsman, build our army here, send them down. Like, build our army here, send them over here. And then we also need to build out Zhuge Liang's army and send them down too. We can do Zhuge Liang Wei Yan Ma Dai. That would be a pretty historical army to go down south. Okay. I think we have what we want. Now the question is, what do we do with our original armies? So, we can be a little bit picky about our own generals too. He has fire arrows, I can't really complain too much about him. He even has nobility, so right now it might even suit us to swap a couple of these. To... Wait, do we not have them available? We need to be rank 6? Oh, no, rank 5. Oh, oh, he's rank 4. Right, right, right. One more level. And then we can get these uh, Tian Raiders. And they'll be 85% range block chance. So we can use these to tank up enemy arrows, then just wipe everyone else. Then our arrows can just focus on spear units. Hmm. We have maybe too many generals. Maybe Not maybe, but like definitely too many generals. So... We gotta get rid of some of them. I'm gonna use all my positions. Like, why are we keeping her now, at this point? Like, she was serviceable before. I mean... We can keep her, but I don't need her in that position. That's what I'm saying. She's developed friendship with leader, friendship with army, so she can stay as a general, but not as one of our leadership roles. I think we do need to pick up a position, so we're going to give her one first. Doesn't matter which one. Is she on cooldown? Did I summon her back? I think I did. Yeah, I don't see her. And who has Ma Dai? Because I need him to join Zhuge Liang's army. Oh, he's not in the army right now. Okay, we summon him back for the army space clearing. Because we need to absorb the six armies. This is fine. Their job is just to defend against a potential attack. Alright, we don't need to mess with them. We're keeping her for poison volley. Well, keeping, 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 keeping. Do we need to keep him? He's an administrator. He provides 10% Commerce, Silk, and Spice. He has the skills. Alright, no reason to fire him. Semi-unique, no reason to fire him. Semi-unique, no reason to really fire him. This loyal is kind of a pain, but he's been with us for a while. Kind of same reason. Burn Officer, Administrator, don't need this anymore. Alright. No reason to fire her. Bruin officer. No reason to mess with him. He's also in the army. With fire arrows. Do we need her? Oh, we got her from no base faction. Skill tree wise, pretty great. But maybe we don't need her anymore. So, Go Tang Yang. Is leaving us. Mediator. Yeah, nothing special here either. Don't have anything special to keep her for. She's a strategist, so I might treat her a little differently. We might wait on her. 
Go Tang Yang's leaving us. Dashu is going to end his uh, assignment. Our wife, our son's wife. This is our son's other son's wife. Zhang Lu semi unique. Zhang Xiu semi unique. Dong Zhuo's widow. Zan Ba's wife. A brute. I think he can get fired. We got a lot of champions. So we're gonna fire Gong Sun Huan. Gao Tang Yang Gong Sun Huan. Li Chao has the fondness. Good assignment character. Don't need to touch him. Nan Yan. So he was a military general because he is a bandit. I think we'll keep him, but we don't really have to. Yeah, we don't have to really get rid of him. Another bandit. I think we, we quite like the bandit characters. They have a lot more own army bonuses, like extra range damage, poison arrow. That one actually is really good. I mean, it's not as. Like, fire arrow is great for sieges, but normal battle, poison arrow is better. And yeah, there's another one for range damage. So I think these will keep. Thief, also bandit. I think we had her saved for assignments, but maybe we have too many now saved for assignments. Was she Luo Jun's spy? I think she was a spy we sent in Luo Jun's faction. Maybe we'll fire her. Because we might opt for the lower level general with better traits. Right. So we'll fire her. Gai. Gai Xiang An. Gai Xian Gan. I just, can't tell when it ends. It could be X I A N or X I N G with A N or G A N. Ma Dai's on cooldown. He'll come out. Guan Yu, Lu Ji, Liu Ye is also random. I think he goes, or we can keep him too. I think it's just hard to let go of strategists. He has really good traits. So I think we keep him. This is a Xianbei last name. So he's a nomadic. But... I don't see a reason to keep him. I think Tuoba leaves. Xiu Fang Yue. I think she leaves. Ying Yu. I think he leaves. This is Yang Ren's wife. But she has great traits as well. She's always going to be happy, so I think we keep her for assignment. Yang Ren's going to leave, though. I don't like to keep this faction grudge in our faction. Zhuge Liang obviously stays. Liu Bei stays. Okay, I think we figured it out. Now if I can remember all of them. So. First one leaving us. Hong Sun Huan, the brute. And then we have Gai Xiang. Yeah, I think she's going away too. Liu Ye, not sure. Gao Tang's leaving. Do they have red news? Kind of forgot about that, but I don't think they do. He's a general, but she doesn't have red news. Yeah, not sure if we're firing strategists just yet. Uoba is leaving. Yeah, not sure about the strategist situation. We might wait a turn, see which assignments we need. Shi Ting Rei. Yeah, this is like when we talked about bad Chinese last names, Shi is a terrible one if you're 
coming to uh, America. Because, like, you literally start out with your name with shitting. Um, anyhow, that's all done. We need to find an administrator, and we need to find a commandery where we want an administrator. So right now, of the ones we own, Xiangyang is good if once we get all the pieces. It's better than Dong, right? It's basically Dong plus another lumberyard and uh, farmland, which means more population cap. I think we would want someone here. Our two current administrators are doing great. And of the ones that we have left... Oh yeah, Luzi has the skills already unlocked, but we probably don't need that. Zhuge Liang's a burn officer, but I don't think we want him to be working at a administrator um, administrator row. I'm trying to find someone with like additional trait. These are all from skill tree. Okay, so he's the other burn officer. I think we just might throw him in here. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Get 10%. This 5% is not from skill tree. It's also from himself. This could also work. Not as good as 10% to all. But he has access to 40%, 15%. He doesn't, because he's a commander. Yeah, I think it's settled. I think it's better to go with the Sentinel here. Or the Strategist here. Uh, he needs to come out of uh, assignment, I believe. Dashi's coming out, Li Chao's coming out. I would even cancel her, but I, I'm afraid of the sudden 20 point drop might kill off our satisfaction for some generals. I don't think anyone's close except for Lu Ji, so I think we need to throw Lu Ji a position like right away next turn. But she doesn't leave us. Okay, and then the, we'll put in the new character next turn. Income wise, let's see. We need to boost. Oh, we got a entrepreneur somehow. From where? I thought I checked. We didn't have one. Now we do. After we, huh? We acquired it by trading. The only trade partner we added is Mi Feng. But we checked his buildings. He didn't have them. Right? Because if we he had them, then we should have had them. Well, that's weird. But now all our silk can be upgraded. That is wonderful news. I might even stop this. Actually, no. We'll, we'll keep going. But we want this to go first. How many turns did I waste? I think it's a six-turn build. Wasted two turns? Hmm... Oh, no, it's a five turn build. Okay, we wasted one turn. Good. I don't feel as bad. And our last silk. We'll rush this one. There we go. That's important. Our silk income is pretty vital. Don't. I'm not in a rush. I mean, don't need to be fixed. Don't has a lot of buildings, but I think we had it figured out. We're demolishing here to build. Right. We didn't decide whether we want corruption reduction or not. Depends on if we were setting administrator. I guess since we're not setting administrator, we might as well go for corruption reduction. Because they need to depend on itself. We're going to have to wait for all our characters to come back. It's going to be a few turns to transition. Alright, we're going to get the extra items off of everyone so that we can reassign later. Oh, she can keep that one. Right, I'm very worried about that. Because we took away two of the 
and I can't give her anything. You know what? Let's just give her a position real quick so that she doesn't leave us. We'll pay her even the 25 one. We'll get rid of it later once we give her a court position. But we'll just make sure she doesn't leave us this turn. We'll give it back to him eventually. It's easier for me to do the clean reset. He's still on the battlefield. She is an administrator. She is in an army. All right, okay. I think we're done. We're done with all the assignments and everything for now. We gotta wait for people to recover to decide who's the best. And we have spy spots. We have two open. Where do we want them? I guess I would take Yuan Shu's wife, who's also a free upkeep spy. And we don't have enough money to hire another one, but I think... Well, actually, we have enough to hire Kong Rong's, which I'm kind of curious to see who he has in his faction as well. Plus four, okay. Ziling, Zhou Tai. He's administrator, so I can't steal him. He has pretty good satisfaction. Okay. Alright, at least we know where he is. Well, eventually we can just murder him. You aren't sure that is. Who does he have? Literally nobody. Okay. Right, then this spy is kind of pointless. She is not... She, she's not even in an army. We can end up stealing some people. Yeah, but there's not a lot of points. It's plus 13 defense as well. We'll extract her a bit later. Just to get rid of her. I can just own her too. Yeah, I have no interest in her. That way I can open up spots to keep looking for new characters. Quartz, we did the important stuff. The candidates are on cooldown. The candidates are on cooldown. Okay, and we're out of money. Not much we can do with our current treachery. But everyone mostly like us because we're fighting the Naman factions, which we'll continue to do. I'm going to stay away from signing deals for now. Well, that's really high value though. Like even with the respectability. I mean, he's really weak right now. Too bad your sister's married. Alright, I can't vassalize anyone on the annex cooldown. But I can grant independence, so that, that really helps. Alright, I think we're fine. We're gonna reset all the armies next turn in the southern locations. Zhuge Liang, Ma Dai, Wei Yan over here. Hopefully they get along. And then we need two more armies here. One to go fight Yan Bai Hu. One to go fight Yellow Turbans and Meng Huo. Let's continue. Alright, we ended up not moving those two armies, which is okay. Not the worst decision. <laughs> That we made. Uh, they made it eventually to the city because I selected it before, but they didn't move. Ah Hui Nan is here. Okay, that's fine. If we moved, we would have moved back to defend anyways. We can figure out the deployments. Uh, first things first, we're gonna make Lu Ji the Chancellor. 
I want to fire her. John L can be the Chancellor. Do we have new ones? Just wondering. Nope. Three turns. Okay. Let's move him here. I'm going to make it easy Grand Director. And Grand Tutor, Poly Drugo now. Alright, and then Li Chao is coming in here. And for the long run, I think it's better to do Jiang Yang, even though right now it's not a lot of income. So, where's Li Chao? He's gonna need a couple levels in the future, but he'll get there. Right now, we would take either Expertise or Resolve. Feels like the only thing we have is Resolve. Expertise. Okay. Public water, no need. Hmm. Peasantry. I think what we're gonna do is probably do industry do all fourth three sources, so we're probably not gonna care. Yeah, let's wait. So the court's done. Now we wanna do army setups. So We'll start with Zhuge Liang, because he's the core of capturing Meng Huo. Oh, we forgot to fire Yang Ren. We'll do another round of firing. Please work along with Wei Yan and Ma Dai. Oh, Wei Yan still... Ah oh, crap! Wei Yan's not summoned back yet. I forgot he was not in. He was in friendly. He was not in friendly territory. All right, at least they're neutral. Wei Yan. The problem is that I'm not gonna be able to see if they get along. I mean, even if he doesn't get along with Zhuge Liang, that would be a cool story by itself too. So I don't really mind that. Okay. There is someone back. We probably have to take care of this group first. So we'll go fight them. This is not really a threat. We want to land and start fighting in fooling. Hmm. Caught an army on the march. Sini's army. I mean, I'm gonna trust the low casualty. I might lose a couple because there's some uh, shock cavalry in this army setup. 30. Yeah, they will lose, but these will be healthy. I think we're executing everyone. This is what making everyone love us. My Chang, well, they're also not full heal. Ooh, what will help us the most here? Increase armor piercing damage. It will help them by a bunch. The scare is nice. Grilla deployment is nice too. Chance of ambushing. I think we'll do this. We don't really need the extra damage. Oh, but this will help him be a better duelist. I mean, we're 63. We're going to die soon. Macho can't wait to take over. All right. We're good. I don't really mind that army. 
We're gonna try to go over there. Should we march? That's the other question. Because then we can get there next turn. We're not healing anyways. So. Wait. Yeah, it's not letting me move. I don't know why. Okay. Oh, our spy got promoted, Lady Om. Oh, that's fine. He's the wife. Alright, we'll do fighting a bit later. Where would I put Liu Bei, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei's army? That's the other question. Oh, we own this as well? I don't need this. Also, you can have it. Huh. We're so nice. Twenty two point eight. How much food does he need? Oh wow, he is food poor. All right, we're not giving it to him. We're gonna trade him food instead. Okay. He's rich. Just stingy. 6.8. We can get that easily from food here. He's he's so lacking in food. Okay. We'll get 10,000 back for 6 food. Oh my gosh, or 60 food. Alright, we'll hold on to the livestock then, if that's the case. Okay... Um... Yeah, where would Liu Bei's army go? We can't have them come here, help Ma Chao just finish off Li Jue, but I think staying in a war with Li Jue is actually better for us. He Man got recruited by the generic yellow turbans. Oh, and Gongzhu. Interesting. And He Yi, because their faction got wiped. Their faction was here, so now they join the generic ones. Um, We don't have enemies, that's the problem. We can find enemies, right? They can come down south. Alright, I'm going to put them where they might actually get some action. So Liu Bei, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei come here. I think Guan Yu should lead it. Wow, Liu Bei doesn't like Zhang Fei. Too bad. I think they should keep the Oath Thorn regardless. Like Zhang Fei should- I, I'm not sure if it's between all three, but like at least two of them have it. No rivalry or anything like that. Okay, I will... They all need cunning, but then again, that also means none of them really need cunning. I'm gonna give this back to Zhuge Liang. I guess they don't need items, they're strong. I mean, these guys are just assistants. This entire army is about the three generals. Alright, so they're gonna go to wipe this part out. I need to someone to fight Yan Bai Hu's group as well. So, any volunteers? Oh, we used up our deployments. Okay. Let's see, do we have any volunteers for another army? We have a ton of generals. Liu Zi should go out and fight. She's perfect candidate to lead an army. Who do we have left with her? I guess we'll just see who gets along. Maybe some of the bandits? We keep them for a reason. Zhang Lu, Zhang Xiu... Yeah, we have a lot of generals. We need to fire more. Jia Xu is also available. Maybe Jia Xu can go with Lu Ji. Lady Mi don't need to do much. Okay, I think we can't do anything with the generals, so we're not gonna mess with that anymore.
I think we're good. I don't think we want any of them. I want to even out some of the points. Yeah, the murdering is going to happen soon. Because once we kill him, we might kill Yuan Yao first. We just want to kill all of the commanders. So satisfaction dips, and therefore we might have a chance to grab them. Secretly murdering her own son and husband in order to steal Zhou Tai to join us. Long road ahead. Alright. Diplomacy. We just don't have a lot of options right now, so it's fine. Drugo Down's group can wait a turn, right? Because Wei Yan's not here yet. We'll fight this battle. This one will actually be a battle. Crushing defeat. I mean, maybe. Maybe it'd be much harder than I thought. Is it a typical Lumberyard map? Because sometimes it gets really messy around here. Yeah, it's a typical Lumberyard map. We have fire arrows. Hopefully it's not actually snowing. They're all missing health. Yeah, we should be able to do this. Start battle. Alrighty, the weather is quite favorable. Now we just need to find a suitable entrance to burn down. Because we don't want too dense of a tower cluster. So I think this one and this one we burn two down, and then we can fight through here. I think that would work. Then we can also shoot through this area here. They might charge out. That's the other possibility. They don't have cavalry, so we're not going to use the wooden stakes. Um, if they charge out... I mean, it'd be easier if they charge out, to be honest. We just kite. We have two sets of fire arrows. Everyone that can shoot fire arrow will shoot fire arrow against the Naman factions. We'll call this the useless group. I'm gonna hang out in the back for a second in case they come out. Wind to scout. I need to know if they're coming out or not. I guess not? Okay, I'm gonna pull a group up then. Alright, we're gonna find an angle where we try to take minimum casualties. A little easier if we break them up. Like three on each one. Oh no 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 no, we gotta use this one as a guide. Lose maybe five or six. Oh, how did he find angle? What is he doing? I think we're good. He lost one. Not bad. They're not charging out. Or are they? Not sure. Alright, but these are down. Do we need to shoot off those? I don't think so. If we keep firing from this angle, we're good to go. Let's come let these boys have some fun. I 
hope they don't burn themselves. Ah, uh, they're burning themselves. Very well. Go to town. Yeah, we can avoid them perfectly. We can even get a more centered shot here. I don't think we need to use the ones without fire. I think they'll be dead by then. So much for your unique armor that catches fire twice as fast. Their turn now. Without shield. Let's see what happened to them. After that unit routes. Here comes. Yeah, night battle plus fire arrows against Nunmine units. And avoid these little fire. Oh! Hidden Vipers! We're getting poisoned. We're actually getting hit back. No! I'll show them. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh, there's a couple more over here. No vision on it. Do you want to do anyone? Naman generals are strong. Maybe we just avoid the situation. Not really confident. Zamba might be able to beat a couple. Because he has a really nice healing ability as well. Wolf pack? Okay. Good luck. He's done. Pull him back. Pull him back. Take one on. Go help him boost. We might heal the other general. No, no relationship. Okay. Alright, 
情懦夫。Taking a while. There we go. Who's next? Ah, wait, nah. Let's go. There's still a few over there. Might be hidden units as well. We gotta be careful. Yep, hidden units. Fire, fire, fire. Count out. Take him out. Oh, he increased the cooldown on our units. Fresh arrows. Yeah, yeah, the cooldown. Uh, mm, Zanba got taken out. Okay, we got buddies over here. Fight them. Uh, John is just chasing random things now. Get out. Can we come back out, my friend? But yeah, he's like, not not a great situation. They have really good morale. I mean, he has unbreakable. Oh, they both have unbreakable. Mm. Shoot the general. With enough arrows, even generals can die. We'll charge him later. Like all the ones that are left, we can kill with charges. We have decent enough charge bonus. Charge! Charge! Stop firing! No friendly damage! Stop firing! The town hunters can charge too! Item Vipers charge, go through them, charge the general. Knock them out. Three, charge at him. Four, melee up. Oh, kill the general. Keep charging. He's on the ground. Not even on a horse. Ah, why not? Oh, how many can you kill? All right, three, four, wait, one, fire.
Don't forget that we're fatiguing you. Charge is never slow. Don't just charge past him. Hit him. What? Come on, guys. Don't be afraid. Stop playing with your food. Guy snuck up from behind. Oh, okay. All right. Not as impressive. I thought everyone was gonna swarm him, but this way we took no damage. Sure. Alrighty. So it's a little unfortunate in terms of Zamba losing the duel, but other than that, this went pretty great. And Ahui Nan's gonna die. Alright, with that we're gonna end our episode. Uh, there's still a little bit of administrative things to do with our annexation. Uh, we have to summon another army over here, and Wei Yan needs to come over here. So that's two more armies, that's pretty much gonna drain most of our economy. So we're going to need to find ways to bolster that as well. Uh, but we'll continue to expand into the Naman territory. Hopefully their land will bring us wealth. We got to start taking care of our corruption reduction uh, in most of our land. That's going to require some reforms as well as, you know, just building them up will take time. But aside from that, the map is looking really great. Uh, we pretty much have a giant alliance in the central plains. We have some scattered territories picked up from Liu Bei as well as a new vassal in Mifeng in the Sui province. We're probably going to be... Yeah, I think we're just going to be focused on the south for now. We'll take all the spice as well. We're going to lose a lot of income when Ma Teng dies of old age, because he is giving us 20% upkeep reduction on town units, as well as 100% silk and spice income. So if we lose that, our economy is going to take a hit. But I'm pretty eager to have Ma Chao take over. So that's where we're headed, a war with Naman. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Bye!